hi guys welcome welcome and if this is not your first time welcome again so today we are actually doing a retouch on this client a relaxer retouch um, she haven't done her hair in a while and this is the first time she's coming actually to my location so right now I'm just basing her scalp and just prepping her hair for the relaxer but in the meantime guys I want to share something with you that um, God had placed on my heart and also um, a client that I was speaking to mentioned the same thing as well but before that so when I'm doing a relaxer I like to put the relaxer like a quarter inch away from the scalp and then the second time when I'm going through then I put it closer to the scalp so that the client would not get burning um, you know to the back while I'm at the front of the hair and everything um, I do like um, texturizing clients hair uh, depending on the type of hair that they have um, because I just find that it's more healthier for the hair the hair grows and also it um, still have its thickness and fullness and it's not just limp right so I pretty much like to do that except if I'm doing a pixie cut or any short hairstyles then I prefer um, the hair to be fully relaxed so yes back to what I was saying so I basically um, remember I was looking for an important document and I couldn't find it for three years yes you heard me right three years <laughs> even though I have looked I've searched I've prayed but still couldn't find it and I remember I was talking to God and I said God but I really do need this document right I love to offer my clients tea, um, hot chocolate, or cappuccino itself. Um, so I like to give them the privilege of choosing whichever one um, they want to have. And if anything, give them like a light snack while they are under the steamer or they are under the dryer, um, getting their hair treated or dried. So yes, guys, so for three years, I could not find this um, important document and I remember I was quite concerned about it but then I wasn't too concerned because I didn't need it need it at that particular point of time but then it reached a point where I actually do need it this year and I remember I was praying to God about it and I said God it has been three years I've been looking for this I've searched all over and I couldn't find it and I remember at one point of time, um, God told me to clean, um, clean a particular area. And while I was cleaning, um, it was like about 4 a.m. in the morning. While I was cleaning, I basically said, you know what, God, um, let your will be done. But I know you're going to allow me to find this and it's going to be a testimony. Would you believe I moved? a container and I saw that uh, document right there on the floor mind you for three years I have moved the container and cleaned that area many times many times but yet still I couldn't find it and I totally believe God wanted me to fully depend on him you know because then it becomes a testimony itself and there are times when you may think, okay, I don't need to pray for something because it may seem trivial. Um, and I remember the client actually said that she did not want to, you know, feel like she's bothering God with, you know, anything small. But that's the thing. God is our Father and He loves when we come to Him about the minor things, you know, um, just to have that relationship with him you know guys so I fully surrendered and when I did God allowed me to see this particular document when it was needed 
you know and i have to truly give god thanks for that because i was not um i mean i was a little frustrated but then i still had hope you know and i didn't fully fully stressed about it but i started looking at a second option and i felt like god didn't want me to go to that second option but to trust him so in all in all guys we all need to trust god no matter how things may seem um trivial or if it might seem minute we need to include god in every single decision and every single um chance that we have even in putting on clothing there are times when you know i may ask god god what do you think i should put on today you know and i will hear god speak to me you know also too um i really like you know reading the word of god not just on my phone or on a tablet but i love having a bible a hard copy bible because there's going to come a time where they're going to cut out certain things in the bible and you will not be able to locate it again um digitally right so having a hard copy is good and also to a hard copy will also enable you to underline and you know get more in depth with the word of god i find my opinion so i prefer to um have a hard copy um and have it color coded you know um by underlining and everything like that it's just more meaningful for me itself so at this point of time guys i did put the leaving conditioners in there here um i did also put serum the papali serum along with the skinny serum from paul mitchell and i also put some other leave-in conditioners in there here including some heat protectant products So at this point of time, I'm just trimming the ends of the client here. She haven't had it trimmed in a very long time. She was thinking of actually cutting her hair and I'm like, no, please don't, please don't. You have beautiful hair and just give me a chance and that's the thing i just want clients to give me a chance let me show you what your hair is capable of um, before making certain decisions especially if um, you have uh, relaxed your hair yourself at home and you have been experiencing breakage damage you know and stuff like that so just give me a chance and then have it done properly then you can make your final decision after that you know um because i mean she have beautiful beautiful thick lashes here please don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel instagram and tiktok at perfect underscore choice 2020 guys i enjoyed my time here with you and i am so looking forward to posting more and having more conversations with you see you guys bye